than what people think. And again, we want to do more mm -hmm. and we want to be more community focused. But we will have to remember that we do TV, radio and online. And I know that you can skew almost at statistics to make them work in your favour. But if you look at our current subsidy, GBC costs per resident 46p a day. But I've also made a note because I think if we calculate it at around, just in case somebody's screening, um, screaming at the TV saying, bueno, pero espérate, que 33,000 don't watch GBC. Bueno, but 9 965,000 watch the video, the YouTube, the uh, King Charles. But if we calculated per household, for, for example, if around, I think, 11,000 households maybe in Jib, that comes out to £1.35 a day per household, which means that more than one person is enjoying anything that GBC, even if it's maybe one of the tweets, or maybe it's, it, you're just consuming one of the videos online, um, but it's about £1.37 a day, which you, which you pay with your taxes. Do we need to provide better value for money for the taxpayer? Yes, I think so. But that is a challenge for everybody. The big debate at the BBC now is how it's going to fund going forward. Massive, massive cuts. Lots of people losing their jobs. I think um, just in the World Service is about more than 300. Yeah.